Hi guys, I am Miss Rader and I'm gonna be your art teacher this year. I wanted to give you your first lesson and the way that we are going to do this uh, for kindergarten through second grade is I'm going to do a video lesson and send that to you and your parents and hopefully um, you can round up some material so that you can give it a try. And then when I get to see you in person, we'll do a whole lot more fun activities. So our first lesson is going to be um, a guided drawing of this little, cute little bus and I also am going to send a link to um, a video on YouTube about bus safety that we try to show our students so that you're prepared when you start riding the bus to school. So let's get started drawing and check out um, the other link for the video for Buster the Bus. So this guy, um, you can make your bus a girl or a boy bus. We're going to start with the eyes, which are a circle shape. You should be drawing with pencil. I'm going to be using a Sharpie so that it shows up on my big paper. And you can use whatever size paper you have. So in about the middle of your paper, you're going to draw two big circles for the eyes. And my circles overlap. If you notice, they're not separate circles, they overlap. And then we're going to draw a line out from each of those circles. So it kind of looks like glasses a little bit right now. We're going to drop that line down. We're gonna create the square part of the front of the bus. So it would be the face of our bus. So we wanna make a square, so a straight line down on each side. And I kind of even round my lines. They're not perfectly straight down. They're kind of rounded because we want a little fat bus. The next step will be to add this bumper. So it's a really long rectangle, kind of a hot dog shape. So it's rounded on the ends, but it's a straight line across the front. And it's kind of rounded on both ends. We're gonna add these two tires underneath. So it's gonna be a rounded little square shape. One on the left, because this is our left, correct? And one on the right. And then we're gonna go and add the top of the bus. It's another square, but it kind of tapers down. So we're gonna do a square shape, but the sides kind of taper in a little bit at the bottom. And the top is kind of rounded a little bit. Now kiddos and parents, I'm working quickly so that my video will be short, but as you're working, you can pause the video and take your time to get all of your pieces right. I've already drawn it once, so I've had, I've had a little bit of practice. We need to add the mirrors on the sides. They kind of look like our bus's ears, but those mirrors help our bus drivers see what's behind them and beside them. They're a rectangle shape. Now starting at the top, we're gonna go back and add the details. The first detail we're going to add is our school sign. So it's a rectangle shape and it's at the top of the top square. We've also got lights beside that that are circles. And we're going to draw the lines of the windshield dropping down from those circles to the eyes. <clears throat> we're going to write the word school. So if you're just learning your letters, um, you can follow along with me. If you already know your letters, we start with an S and I'm making mine all capital. C H O O L. That way we know he's a school bus or she. We're going to add details on the eye, so I'm going to add eyelids. It's just a scooped shape, kind of like a little upside down rainbow. I'm going to add circles for the pupils. Those are the black parts of the eyes. 
And my bust, I wanted her to be kind of pretty, so I added some eyelashes. You don't have to add the eyelashes if you don't want to. I'm gonna add a mouth, and your bus's mouth can be doing whatever. It can be a straight line. It can be a curved smile like mine. I added some lines inside to make it look like the bus actually had a grill, but then it also looks like teeth too. And I added little hearts on her cheeks. If you just want circles there, you can just add circles. And then the last step is to add some tread on the tires. I just did a wiggly line for my tire tread. Now, you can make your bus silly. You can do it completely differently than I did. I colored my bus with markers and my background I did with blue crayon. You can use whatever colors you want. You can use whatever materials you want. If you wanna practice with some watercolor or paint, that's fine too. Um, in our class on Schoology, I would love to see your artwork. So you can upload those to the post, like in the comments. That would be fantastic. And make sure that you save all of your artwork so that when I see you in person, we can share all of those. I'll see you soon.